So let's settle the debate once and for all. Should you be using React or Flutter or vice versa? Or should you just go back to the native app development so you don't have to deal with these new technologies and you can just use the platforms with ultimate freedom and control just like they were meant to be? Well, like all things in software development, there's not always a one cookie cutter answer for everything. In the scenario of the native app development debate versus React and Flutter, you have to consider your use case. And we're gonna get down to the bottom line and specific tips so you know exactly which path you should be taking and where the future lies when it comes to React and Flutter and which platform is actually more popular now and performant better. So we're gonna take a look at all those aspects, but first let's consider native app development. If you decide to go native app development, you're gonna be looking at supporting twice the amount of work. You're gonna need a team for iOS and a team for Android because each platform uses different languages and technology. And so that's going to result in double the cost as well as double the QA effort for each platform. And it could result in various release cycle issues and coordination between the team, making sure that all the requirements and specs that your team puts out get implemented correctly in both platforms, uh, both applications. So there's a lot of extra stuff taking place when you have to have two separate apps supported uh, that are, for, well, it's really supposed to be one app, but they're it's supposed to be one like functional feature, right? But you have to implement that one functional feature two separate times so it can create some disconnects. So that's a lot of extra complexity. Now, it's a lot nicer if you could just have one team develop for both platforms simultaneously and not have to worry about making any mistakes. You're developing one feature and it's gonna come out the same in both platforms. And that's where React and Flutter give you their power. But you lose something when you do that and you lose the ability to control everything on those platforms down to the bare bone metal so you have to decide do you need the control or do you need the cost efficiency and simplicity of developing for both applications I and mean, both environments platforms simple so that's the answer that you really need to that's the question you really need to answer when you go into this realm. And I have a few tips as well. And it's, it's, this is a surf case study that's gonna help you understand when you should be deciding to use native app development or should you use React and Flutter. So apps that you would wanna consider developing natively and building native technologies for would be apps like augmented reality, virtual reality, AI triggered apps with big data, any app that's doing heavy computation, uh, gaming apps would also be a good consideration. The more complex gaming apps that are higher performance based would be good for a native app. And then anything that might be GPS centric apps that are really vital and they, they specifically use GPS uh, significantly um, or anything else that really needs to take it, take care of the bare metal platform on Android or iOS would benefit from being a native app. But otherwise, unless you need like high performance or you need to really get into heavy computation for the most part, you should usually always steer away from native app development if you want to reduce costs, complexity, maintenance, and all of that. In 2019, Flutter actually overtook React Native in terms of the amount of searches happening on Stack Overflow. The questions per month skyrocketed. Software developers were fascinated by the new technology and they wanted to know what Google was up to with Flutter. But the question remains, is React Native better than Flutter? Which one should you be using as your solution to write once and have all of your code get deployed to Android and iOS with just one code base? Well, as of today, the answer is both. Honestly, performance seems to be almost neck and neck when it comes to React and Flutter apps. So if you're looking for performance, you can go with either. The real consideration when it comes to Flutter and React really just comes down to the language. So React is going to use JavaScript. So if you are familiar with JavaScript, then React Native is going to be very easy for you to pick up. However, with Flutter, you're going to be required to go and learn a new programming language. You're going to be required to learn Dart. And that requires you to take some additional time and effort when learning how to use the technology. 
So at the end of the day, I say that you should definitely consider using React or Flutter for whatever your app is that you want to develop. As a single developer, if you're working on your own project, you definitely would want to try to avoid those native app development platforms if you're looking for speed of deployment, simplicity to deploy into multiple avenues. The bottom line is that neither Flutter or React or nor native technologies will provide a magic wand to your particular project or business needs. Each case is individual. You're going to need to consider what you're trying to build. Uh, Flutter and React are very promising cross-platform frameworks in terms of the development speed and the budget reduction. And it's possible to create a minimum viable application with Flutter or React in two to three months. And that's going to save you about, you know, 30% of the costs uh, that it's going to go into building two separate native apps. And it's going to save you a lot more time. And uh, native technologies, uh, they are better for more sophisticated niche apps. So if you have something with more advanced features, computation-wise, GPS, rich animation, that's when you want to go to the native technologies. And if you're doing like game development on a serious game. Otherwise, I think that puts the debate to end you enjoyed this and you got some value and you'd like to be notified as soon as the next podcast goes live, then please click subscribe and we'll send you over a notification as soon as next week's podcast drops. And then you'll be notified and you can streamline all the latest in tech news and education. Thank you so much. Take care, productive programmer. See you next time.